Hey there guys, Fave here, and the search bar on Roblox is very strange because, as you may or may not know, if you search certain people up and they're banned forever, or if they're just banned for a few days, they're not going to pop up in people. The most obvious example is you type in Fave in players, and you won't see the original Fave because he is banned forever. But there's some accounts, when you search them up, they still pop up. But if you click on them, well, they're still banned forever. What are these accounts? Well, find out after today's challenge. Today's challenge is, if you've ever had lips before, smash that like button. Also, I noticed most of you aren't subscribed, so what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. And a brand new rhinoceros. How do you say that word? We'll be born somewhere in the nature somewhere. Anyways, let's talk about it. So the first account I want to cover today is an account called David. Now you type in David, you get some regular old results, a bunch of bacon hairs as 90% of Roblox accounts are inactive. Uh, you get block David. Why do we want to block David? That's not nice. And if we open up block David's profile, well, they have the ID 679, shout out to Fetty Wap. And apparently, you know, it's just whatever. But this isn't about block David or block David or whatever you want to pronounce it as. This is about David because while he looks like a Roblox user who plays a little bit too much Witching Hour, when you click on him, yeah, he's banned forever. But of course, what have I ever let someone being banned forever stop me from finding out more about them? Exactly. So let's take a look at David. Now, David is not an account owned by founder and CEO of Roblox, David Bazuki. David is a random account created by who knows, just happened to be called David. His status, which is no longer a feature on Roblox, rest in peace, never gonna give you up, that's a Rickroll reference, two friends, 2,000 followers, and follow zero people, he's back. But he's not back, as he's banned forever. He has two friends, a person called Blanked, and a, a content deleted username, which I've done a full video about before, you can check out in the top right corner. Now, he has a verified hat and a few other hats, I mean, basic hats, went to the name snipes game to try to flex the account. Now, I'm gonna get the very obvious out of the way first. Yes, David is an account that's password was guessed. Somebody got into the account and claimed it for themselves who was not the original creator of the account. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and say my opinion or anything. I'm just saying objective facts. This is a very common thing on Roblox. There's nothing to be shocked about. And if we're gonna investigate David's stuff a little bit more, he has a game called David and says currently under construction, March 3rd, 2010. Now it was updated in 2017 and if I decide I wanna play the game, let's go ahead and see what this game has. Well, it's a black base plate and then there's letters that spell out the word David. Pretty spooky, but I guess the game is definitely not clickbait as the game is called David and all it is is David But if I hear the word David one more time I'm gonna lose my temper and sometimes I like to make the joke that oh my name's Dave instead of my name's Fave Especially because the D key is next to the F key. So hi, I'm Dave But anyways David also posted on the forums in 2006 and it's a top 100 poster with only 42 posts. Now, if you don't know what a top 100 poster is, it was basically an award given out to people who posted on the forums a lot, except they basically gave up on the award after like 2008, which means in 2006, since there was very few people on Roblox, just about anyone could become a top 100 poster. My friend Supercon was a top 25 poster, rest in peace to his account. But yeah, with 42 posts, he was a top 100 poster. To put that into contrast, there are tons of people with tens of thousands of forum posts and some people with over 100,000. Anyways, what did David have to say in 2006? Well, evidently, he was making a suggestion for Roblox titled Better Explosions. About the only thing that really makes this game feel empty is the explosions. They don't do enough impact on buildings, and they just don't look cool. A round red circle does not do the justice of blowing something up. Also, it would be much better if you could make the explosion hurt objects and players near it like the ones in real life. Thanks, and keep up the good work. So yes, back in 2006 and 2007, explosions used to be this red ball, and it's very iconic. You can actually set your explosions to be that way in Super Nostalgia Zone. But yeah, he basically predicted the future with this post as Roblox explosions have become more realistic and more cool to look at, arguably. Some people do like the red ball, but it's pretty basic. 
Now this better explosion sword would go on to get replied to by Builder Man. David, thanks for the suggestion. We were joking today that our explosions are about the quality of missile command. We started out by airing out on the side of low end machines. You should be able to run Roblox on a horrible machine. We will improve these and appreciate your feedback. We've also kept the blast radius pretty small for now. Bigger bombs will be coming. Yes, Builder Man in one of his only 916 posts replied to David. Basically, David replied to David. David Bazuki replied to David. Yes, this is legendary. Builder Man replied to this thread. Oh my. Like, you can't just, you, you just can't make this stuff up. Of course, over the years, people would bump this thread and, like, make fun of him and all that stuff. And, OMG, Builder Man replied, all that stuff. Now, David managed to get top 100 poster with just one post at the time. Because he didn't ever post again until 2010. And this is someone who presumably took the account. Now, here's him flexing on people. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. But... That's enough about David. Let's go ahead and move on to our next subject here, Roblox Alpha Test. Now there's not much to say about Roblox Alpha Test, but the most interesting part is, if you go to people and search up Roblox, you would think that the first result would be the account called Roblox, but in fact, the first result is Roblox Alpha Test. Now Roblox Alpha Test looks like any other dude, but he has a chain on as you can tell by his thumbnail. Unfortunately, if you click on Roblox Alpha Test, he is banned forever, as this is another account that was compromised recently, and of course, they're his Roblox. But let's take a look deeper at Roblox Alpha Test. Well, there's a lot of typing and whatever. There's a bunch of unique friends and all types of stuff. But like, it's not that interesting to talk about an account whose password's really been yeeted, you know? I mean, its game is deleted since 2006, you can't even touch it, it's probably so old and broken that Roblox doesn't even know how to handle it, there's no actual game here, just a remnant of a place. Roblox Alpha Test never posted on the forums, and there's not much more else to say about this account because everything that could be said has basically been said. Oh, he follows Sharkblocks, oh my god. Hi Sharkblocks. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to talk about today. Let me know what you think down below about these accounts, how do you feel about their interesting nuanced stories people were still taking accounts back in 2010 and david wanted to argue for hours oh it's, i'm not stolen okay guys jeez but whatever i don't really care either way i mean you know it is what it is and that's pretty much all i got to talk about today so yeah opinions down below make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to fave and fave too follow me on instagram at fave here follow me on twitter blacks fave draw my groups on roblox roblox fave hang out with faves cave from my Discord server, Discord, slash fave, and it's your boy fave, and I am out.